There you go, here's something a little bit different that picks up a while ago. This is an old bicycle lamp. Now to make this work, we need a number of things. First of all, we need to fill this little reservoir up with just clean water. So just unscrew that. And just fill it up with clean water. Here we go. That'll do nicely. Get a little fill up plug back in. As you can see, this is a dripper at the bottom. Now, if I open this up, start dripping. Yeah, so about half a turn, you get the first drips coming out. Second thing we need for this bit is calcium carbide. Now, this is a bit of a bugger to get hold of, to put it mildly, but I manage it in the end. There we go little rocks so I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in. Now calcium carbide reacts with water to make acetylene which is of course a very flammable gas. Put the lid on. There we go that's in and then we screw it on like so. Sure it's nice and tight against the seal so nothing can escape where it shouldn't. Now if we open the dripper half a turn say let's just wait a few moments then before too long gas should start forming which we should be able to light. And there we are. A nice bright acetylene flame. And that's how we used to make bicycle lights. I'll just flick the light so you can see how bright it is. I'm just gonna turn the water down just a bit. There we go, it's got a nice hiss going on. It's nice and bright that. So there we are. One old fashioned acetylene bicycle light running on calcium carbide. These two little green side lights, which I think are really quite lovely. I'll just flip the lights off to show you how bright this thing really is. There we go. Complete darkness. Very satisfying indeed. Just thought I'd share. Hope you enjoy.